Marikina, 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 Bayang Ginigiliw ni Tumbansa. Hi guys, I'm here at another Marikina event. I'm at the City Hall of Marikina. Uh, I will be attending the Marikina Grand Tour. It's in preparation for the Marikina Sapatos Festival 2015. It will start on October 26. It's uh, until December, if I'm not mistaken. So we will be touring different, um, some Marikina shoe factories as well as famous landmarks. And will be the event will culminate in a dinner at Industria Marikina. Uh, I haven't eaten there yet, but I heard that it's a really good place. Um, it's very beautiful now, so I'm quite excited, of course. And I'll be with my with some fellow Marikina vloggers. Okay, we're about to leave the Marikina City Hall. Um, I'm not sure what our first stop is, but it's probably a shoe factory. One of the shoe factories in Marikina. I need shuttle number. And there's one. And I'm here with some of the bloggers. Marikenia. 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 Marikenia.com. And we have C. Marikenia.com. Alright, everyone. Okay, I have five shoes. Follow the guy in black. Our first stop for today is Bristol Shoes, which was founded in 1982. Uh, the, the owners gave us a crash course in the parts of the shoes as well as uh, an overview of how their handcrafted shoes are made. The brand, of course, is known for their excellence, their high quality, and they mostly make men's shoes, but they also have um, a line of women's shoes. And you can find them in Market Market, SM Department Stores, Robinson's department stores and other major malls. They uh, they have classic to contemporary footwear, and they are located in this address. So go ahead and visit them, and they really have really have classy shoes. Our second stop is Valentino Shoes, which is, which is currently managed by the third generation now of the Valentino family. Since 1973, they have been producing a wide range of shoes like bowling shoes, safety shoes, dress shoes, casual shoes, also military shoes. In fact, they're one of the biggest suppliers of the armed forces of the Philippines. And they can their shoes can be bought at the landmark, the Marikina Shoe Gallery, and of course the Marikina Shoe Trade Fair. Oh, nice boxes by the way. And these are called shoe lasts which are used for manufacturing and repairing shoes and you can visit them in this address our third stop is by far the most technologically advanced shoe company shoe manufacturing company in the philippines and it is gibson's shoes which has been around since 1945 and they have a huge range of shoemaking facilities equipment and machinery uh, in fact they have their own uh, quality assurance facilities including this testing how rubber reacts to heat that's not ice cream <laughs> but uh, commercial muna thank you to Gibson's for um, taking care of our merienda of Biko really delicious and uh, Aruscaldo but yeah Gibson's is a huge manufacturer of military shoes in fact they are a huge supplier of the armed forces of the Philippines uh, patrol shoes of the Philippine National Police and also the National Police Commission and they have a really nice showroom which is located in this address our fourth stop is Pam trading which well they're not a manufacturer of shoes but they have a big part in the shoe manufacturing business business because they supply a lot of you know bling blings buckles um, clo cloth pieces of cloth or even ribbons that are used in making shoes so important rin yung role nila of course without them hindi tayo makakakuha ng iba't ibang klaseng shoes and of course different kinds of heels you can uh, visit them in this address. Pwede kayong magpagawa na, or magpaayos ng takong. Dami, oh. <laughs> so, kami ngayon sa Marikina River. Ayan. Hi! That's Inside Marikina. And this is Marikina Live. 
kami yan. <laughs> Ayan. So, hindi kami magjo-jogging. Pero this place is ideal for jogging and for biking. Ayan. Apparently, it's the longest jogging lane in the world. So, Marina is biker-friendly, jogger-friendly. <laughs> And uh, generally, it's a friendly city. Our sixth stop is one of the biggest and most beautiful churches in Marikina, which is the Our Lady of the Abandoned Church. It's, uh, it has been around since the 1500s, and it has been canonically recognized through a PayPal bull. So it is a baroque. It, it's known for its baroque architecture, as you can see, sobrang ganda niya. And uh, you can find the church in this address. After visiting the Lady of the Abandoned Church, you may now walk to the Marikina Shoe Museum, which is open every day except holidays from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Admission is only 50 pesos, and uh, it houses the rich history and heritage of the Marikina shoemaking industry as well as hundreds or even thousands of pairs of shoes from different personalities including past presidents, celebrities, and others. But the star of the collection is of course many many pairs from former First Lady Imelda Marcos and you can see all those in this address. And to cap off our tour, we had dinner at Industria Marikina, which is a former factory, shoe factory, and also tannery. Ang gaganda ng mga designs niya and accent pieces. So, a lot of them were part of the factory. Kaya talagang ang rich ng dating, ang rich ng heritage of the shoe making industry in Marikina nandito sa Industria. At the same time, sobrang spacious niya, perfect for debuts, receptions, and other private functions. Ang laki, di ba? Grabe. During the dinner, we were able to talk to some Marikina shoemakers and bonding bonding, usap-usap about our passion for Marikina. And our dinner was facilitated by this chef. Ang sarap ng food actually. Ready na kayo? <laughs> we had a lot of uh, Marikina inspired food including their take on the everlasting with crostinis and a side salad. And then this is Industria's version of, of uh, the Lumpiang Hubad healthy dish for tonight, for the tour. And uh, this one is Pininyahang Manok na fried chicken actually. Ang sarap ng pineapple cream. And then, this one looks like caldereta, but it's actually afritada. Ang sarap! It tastes like caldereta nga rin eh. <laughs> then, this one is Industria's take on uh, pinakbet. It's not too salty, kaya gustong gusto namin. And may lechon pieces siya. And then, this one is lauya or laoya. It has a very peppery broth na parang half nilagang baka, half kare-kare ang taste. Sarap! For dessert, we had a very sinfully good biko na may lamang ube, makapuno, and langka sa loob. Ang sarap. Sobrang tamis. And this one, this one has a surprise. Ang bibing kinitan surprise. Hindi ko na sasabihin yung laman sa loob. Punta na lang kayo dito sa Industria Marikina. And they're located in this address. Perfect for dates! Alright, I would love to thank the Marikina Public Information Office as well as the Tourism Group for inviting us to the Grand Marikina Tour as a way to kick off the Marikina Sapatos Festival which happens from October 26 to December 5. I will be putting a link in my description of this video so you'll know the schedule of activities and events and I'm sure you're going to have fun. It's going. Most of them are going to be held at the Freedom Park which is located in front of the Marikina City Hall. Again, thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Marikina, ikay dakila, hiyas na tangin itong bansa. Marikina, idadambana, ang gilang.